back. We're doing a new movie this week. The name of that movie is Raging Bull, starring Robert De Niro. I know what you're all thinking, and I'm only gonna do movies done quick with movies with Robert De Niro in them. And the answer is so we're gonna we're gonna get started here. Let's go. Raging Bull came out in 1980. Was made by Martin Scorsese. So we got you know your main characters. You got Robert De Niro and you got uh, Joe Pesci. And so Robert De Niro plays a guy named Jake, but Joe Pesci's character calls him Jack a lot. So it's very confusing. And then Joe uh, Joe Pesci plays his brother, who's younger than him, named Joey. And so it's a whole thing, and they're back and forth. Your main character, uh, Robert De Niro, he is a uh, he's a boxer. Big deal with the movie. He wants to be a contender. He wants to get to the middleweight championship, and so he's in all these different fights. And we start to realize that oh, maybe he is you know insane. Is he has a severe anger issues? Very angry that no one's giving him the chance, the shot that he wants. Um, he's just very upset. So very important. He you know he's married. So he's at the pool one day, and there's this really hot girl over there by the pool, her name's Vicky, and he's like, oh, okay. And then she's like, oh, like, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, like, take a ride with you in your sweet automobile. And then they, like, go back to his dad's place, because if they go back to his place, his wife's gonna be there, so it's a whole thing. And then they eventually get married and have kids, and, you know, through all this, there's the undertone of because he's a boxer and has severe anger issues, he beats his wife. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. And then as we go through the movie, he, you know, is continuing to fight. People get scared of him because he, like, beats the crap out of literally everyone he ever boxes. He starts to not have as many matches. He's very upset because how else is he going to get to the middleweight title? No one will box him. And then there's kind of maybe an underlying mob theme. I'm not really sure. Joey's buddies uh, seem like they're in the mob or they're up to some, like, kind of sketchy stuff. And at one point, there's just a fight in a bar because Vicky was with one of the guys. And then it's all very, you know, convoluted and maybe Vicky's cheating on De Niro and maybe she's not. Who really knows is the real question. And then eventually, towards the end of the movie, it comes out that, you know, apparently she's been cheating on him with literally everyone, including his younger brother, who he breaks into his house and, you know, kind of beats up in front of his kids. And so as we get closer and closer to the end of the movie, he's boxing some guy named Sugar Ray. He keeps boxing him, and they kind of go back and forth. Sometimes he wins, sometimes he loses. And they keep boxing and boxing and boxing. Very heavy on the boxing, because this is, of course, a boxing movie. And then as we, uh, you know, get towards the end of the movie, he gets to the, he gets to the championship. It's going to be his chance. And he is a contender, which is the whole point of the film, and the part that everyone knows, apparently, which is really not that big of a part of the film. And so he boxes the middleweight champion, and he wins, and he gets the belt. And then he kind of lets himself go, and he eats a lot of Subway, or sub sandwiches at least. And then that's when the part that, you know, Vicky's cheating on comes out, and he, you know, beats up his brother, and then also, you know, kind of hits his wife, which is not cool. But then she's like, I'm leaving, and then he's like, no, but like, stay, which is a weird ask, considering that you just punched her. So moving on, he's won the, the championship belt, and now Vicky's gone, his brother won't talk to him anymore, and now he's in the ring, and he just lets the guy beat the crap out of him because he's a, he's a broken man now. Is he's such a raging bull at the beginning of the movie, and now he's realized what has happened, and now he's his spirit is broken, and so he just gets the crap beat out of him in the ring. And then he at one point he's like kind of all swelling up, and he goes over to the other guy, the boxer who just beat him, and he goes, "But you never got me down," and that's like a big deal because you know they, they they boxed a lot. It was Sugar Ray that finally beat him, so they were boxing a lot. But he's like, "You never got me down," except his eyes are like swollen shut, and he's bleeding, he's got cuts all over his face. So he's not looking great. But then, uh, you know, after everyone's left him, he somehow managed to get back with Vicky. And then after that point, he is done with boxing after he loses the championship title. He moves down to Miami with his family and opens a nightclub in which he does stand up, question mark. I, maybe it's just the times, but it doesn't seem like it's that great because he's not that funny. So then at that point, he's owning this club and then some 14 year old comes in and something bad happens. He gets put in prison and he's, he, he's in prison, he's punching the wall and he's headbutting the wall because he's so upset with himself. He's saying like, oh, I'm not an animal, like I'm not, I'm not that bad of a person, trying to convince himself that, you know, all along it's been, the world has been against him. And then kind of after that, Vicky leaves him and then he comes back to New York and is, you know, still doing stand-up comedy even though he's not that good at it. That's the entire plot of Raging Bull. Hopefully you enjoyed my summary. Hopefully you don't have to go see the movie now because, you know, I explained it so well. Hopefully you'll, you know, be back for the next time I do one of these, which I would like to do more because I had fun doing Heat and I've had fun doing this one. So hopefully I will make more in the future and you will come watch them and you will enjoy them and then I will continue to make more of them. So that's a great plan. I agree to that plan if you agree to that plan and uh, let's get out of here.